Coming up, Fighting Back. We'll tell you about a new state-of-the-art tool New York City's getting to battle public health pandemics. Tracking the clouds and where we could see some showers by morning. And it's the Lower East Side Gym changing lives for both clients and their trainers. We'll meet the New Yorker who went from incarceration to innovation thanks to his inspiring boot camp workouts. Hey, what's up? This is News for Now for July 6. I'm Kay Ingram. Now, look, when it comes to health crises, New York's been through a lot. I don't have to tell you. I mean, first there was COVID and now monkeypox. That's right. The city is facing two public health fights, but now officials are hoping that a new state-of-the-art lab will help us win. City officials broke ground on the new facility in Harlem Wednesday. Now this project starting just as New York's dealing with another uptick in COVID cases. In fact, the state's reporting that the weekly infection rate is increasing by 15%. Experts say that the new COVID variant dubbed BA5 is fueling the increase. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says they're still monitoring numbers very closely, just about every day, but adding we're at a point where we've gotten used to living with it. Now, as I mentioned, New York is also seeing an uptick in monkeypox cases. Health officials say that there are now 111 presumed cases in the city. Meanwhile, Connecticut is now reporting its first monkeypox case ever. State health officials say that the patient is a man in his 40s from New Haven County. They say he's currently isolating and has not been hospitalized. Also in Connecticut, Stamford firefighters are being hailed as heroes after rescuing a woman trapped under a bus. What you're looking at here happened Tuesday afternoon. Now, as wild as it looks, officials say that the woman was alert and conscious, even talking to firefighters the entire time. After about 10 minutes, they were able to lift the bus off of her by using high pressure airbags. The woman was rushed to the hospital and we haven't heard anything just yet on her condition or how she got trapped under the bus in the first place. And up next, an abandoned kitten has a new home thanks to an NYPD officer. The tiny animal was found on the Kosciuszko Bridge on the 4th of July and carried to safety by a highway officer. The NYPD says he even found a forever home for the kitten and named him Shadow. Mayor Eric Adams is showing off his new hobby. He tweeted this video saying he's looking like a pro after his first jet ski lesson over the holiday weekend. Adams also joked that he may even make it a part of his daily commute. Hi there, I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Maria La Rosa. Really summery afternoon. It's going to be a nice, quiet summer evening. We still have some of that humidity definitely hanging on to the warmth. 84 degrees through 6 p.m. By 9 p.m., mild 80 degrees with fair skies through 11 o'clock. By tomorrow morning, we'll have a few more clouds in the way and maybe even a few showers. And you can see through 6 a.m., that best chance still through central and south Jersey. And then tomorrow afternoon, a chance across the entire area. We do hang on to some of that warmth. 71 for the low in the city. Newark just 74 degrees, a little cooler to the north and west where we dip into the 50s and the 60s from Monticello to Poughkeepsie. Now, whether you are looking to get in shape or, you know, just need a little inspiration on a gloomy day, there is a gym on the Lower East Side that's changing the lives of both clients and trainers in a very cool way. New York Live is here with the story. From prison to personal trainer and now fitness empire, today I am taking you to Con Body, a gym transforming both bodies and lives. This is a fitness studio. I know that there's so much more beyond the surface. First, tell me about the method that is Con Body. Yeah, so Con Body is a prison style fitness class where we hire people coming out of the prison system to teach fitness classes, but this is all created and, and made up while I was incarcerated. Uh, I only had my nine by six prison cell, my own body weight. And so I took a little bit of exercises from people that I've met while I was incarcerated. I came up with different moves that I could do in my small space. And, and voila, we, we, this is what, what, what we made up. We're here on the Lower East Side. Yeah. This is where you grew up. Yeah, well, born, raised, probably gonna die here. Back in the 80s and 90s, this was a extremely drug infested neighborhood. and. And I got involved with dealing drugs at a very early age. I was just smoking, drinking, like eating fried food and not being mobile at all. So when I went inside, I was over 230 pounds. 
doctors told me my cholesterol levels were through the roof if I didn't start eating correctly or exercising that I could probably die of a heart attack within five years. So that like woke me up. So I lost over 70 pounds in six months and then I helped over 20 inmates who was over a thousand pounds combined and I took that same like method and I, I brought it out to the streets. And so I came home, like limited opportunities as somebody that's been in, incarcerated multiple times. And out of desperation, I, I started Combody. I started doing it in the local park where I grew up at. I would wake up at 5.30 in the morning every day, run classes at 6 a.m. I'd do two classes in the morning, two classes in the evening, and I was doing that every single day. And now you have a physical space, yep. so you teach classes here, yep. but you also teach them online. Yep. And then there's also a membership, yeah, yeah, yeah. So people can sign up for $14 a month. We have all types of video, over 70 videos of all our trainers. We also do live stream. This is the beginning and I want to impact way more people. My, my goal and dream is to like franchise this, hire as many people as possible coming out of the system. An Independence Day fireworks display at the Jersey Shore did not go off without a hitch. An explosive mishap took people watching from the beach and boats by surprise. News 4's Ted Greenberg found out what exactly went wrong. After a successful start to this patriotic show in the sky, the 4th of July fireworks off Sea Isle City's 50th Street Beach last night took a startling turn. There were sporadic fireworks going up and then all of a sudden there was huge uh, explosions on the barge. It looked like there was a lot of fire and a lot of smoke. Oh my God. Those watching from the sand say it was clear the Independence Day display was not going according to plan. Officials say there was an accident aboard the barge from which the fireworks were launched. And then one went like sideways across the water and actually towards the beach a little bit and sparking all over the place. People on the beach were like a little worried and boats that were around the barge <laughs> hightailed out of there. A spokeswoman for the city tells me she confirmed with the fireworks company this morning that no one was hurt. Before that, they had a break where they didn't do anything for a while, and then you could tell that something was a little off. Officials say it appears the explosion was caused by a six-inch shell that blew up inside its gun tube before it could launch. I reached out to the company that produced the fireworks but did not hear back by our deadline. Sea Isle officials say the city was told all safety precautions were in place prior to and during the show. Shortly after the fireworks started, um, they started to have some problems. The mishap ultimately resulted in a shortened show. Officials say the city shelled out $49,000 for the fireworks and is working with the company to get a credit for the part that did not go off as planned. Ted Greenberg, News 4, New York. All right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow on News 4 Now.